Hello everyone, this is Hadrian. Hello, I'm Mal. Thanks for watching again. Let's play some more Master of Orion, Conquer the Stars, and our Mystics and Merchants. Uh, uh sorry. <clears throat> Mystics and yeah. Merchants. You thought you were going to get through one video without me being ridiculous. You were wrong. So, wrong. um... <laughs> we are... It. Oh, hey. Um, we already have the Battle Scanner, right? Or do we not? Uh, I don't think we do. Okay. Because we weren't going to get the Tachyon Scanner. I just finally got through the end of that tech... Um, yeah, just grab the battle scanner. We don't need the tech hand scanner. Yep, I'll, I'll send you the battle scanner in just a second. So, uh, what tech do I want next? Should probably go for biotechnology. I'm a little bit behind on that part of the queue. So yeah, we uh, we're in a bit of wartime. Finally, the soccer declared war, and uh, it's been fun ever since. Yeah. And there's no sarcasm there whatsoever. Uh, what was I just gonna? Oh yeah, that's right. Let's send you that tech real quick. Do you afford a trade agreement yet? Uh, I have fifty-two gold. It looks like trade treaties are currently asking for one eighty-two. So it might be a little okay. bit longer, but I'll keep an eye on that mark. All right, we need to try to make sure that we keep like 200 and 250 on hand at all times for that yeah it's costing and, us huge by not having it yeah and again the only reason i didn't is i needed to get that gravity no, generator no, I, up i, I, I understand i'm just saying going forward we should both keep like 200 250 on hand so that we don't run into that yeah yeah i agree i agree mezo is uh, a huge terran ultra rich artifact world <laughs> and it hasn't been productive um okay looks like you captured my spy uh, I'm just gonna deport him back to you. Uh, you can actually do a quick prisoner exchange because I have one of yours. Well, I just sent him back to you. I just deported him. Oh, okay. Well, in that case... Which is just me giving him back for nothing because I'm a nice guy. Okay. Well, in that case... Mm. Here you go. Yeah. Okay, it does seem like... Oh, nice. They did withdraw from use, so I am sending my ships in to do some damage while they don't have any ships on the way. Stupid move. It does look like they have... Oh, wow, dude. Are you seeing this fleet on the border of the service system? No. 414-889. Four fourteen eight eighty nine. Yep. Okay. Couple of cruisers, several destroyers, several frigates, but they totally did withdraw from from use. So I'm going to jump in. To GNN. State of the galaxy. Sakura is winning at everything. And now the state of the galaxy. Sakura yeah. R winning at everything. Sakura R galaxy. Yes. Leader level up. Uh, let's go ahead and get leader experience rate. So my leaders will level up even faster. All right, just annihilated a Sakura military outpost. Okay. No, I'm not going to do that upgrade. Not that one either. Not that one either. I'm telling you, man, some of the auto upgrades the game wants to do ridiculous how much money do you have on hand right now uh hang on one sec i'm picking a tech you have 102 on hand okay yeah yeah i don't have enough yet hold on Boo. i'm gonna go for fusion weapons so i get bomb miniaturization that'll make my cruisers and destroyers a little bit more effective thank you Done. Thank okay. you, sir. Yep. Now, day on Prime. I know I don't need a food building there because, again, that that planet is full. So let's just let's start cranking out ships at Dagon Prime. Seems like the sensible thing to do.
Looks like we finally have a bit of a pollution wow. problem developing. That 442, 680, man, that's... Whew. Yep. Oh, and they're headed my way. Okay. Yeah, um, they are. I'm, I'm withdrawing. They have any troop transports? They don't, so they can't even take their own planet back. They can bomb it all to hell and back if they want, but that's all they can do. Okay, they managed to kill one of my destroyers as I attacked this colony, but so that's that's going to reduce my bombing potential. Oh man, this is this is actually a really big colony. It, I'm not going to be able to stick around here for long and attack it, but I'm going to drop one more round of bombs, especially because they managed to kill one of my bombing ships. That sucks. That was a good opportunity for me to do some damage to use two. I was hoping to at least kill a colony off, but this is a huge colony. All right, good. I mostly hit the population that time. Iramora Prime has grown. Next turn. All right, so yeah, it seems like they now might be headed for Dagon. Next turn, I'm going to withdraw. They're not going to be able to get to me in uh, in the use system in time. I'll be able to withdraw to my space station. Also, there is a lane into Dagon from successful, the world. What? Successful destabilization. Another nice. one. Yeah, but I'm going to keep doing it. Oh, actually, crap. They will be able to get to me and use. I don't know why I was thinking they wouldn't. They just, during that turn cycle just now, they got to the border of the system. So I am at the other border. As soon as the turn cycles again, they're going to be able to jump me and kill my fleet. Son of a bitch. All right. Guess I'll just start cranking out more destroyers. <laughs> yep, I'm done. Damn it, damn it, damn it. There go all of my ships. Every last one. Gone. Oh, well, I got a new leader. Production bonus. I'll hire you. Fine. I can put you on... Um... Oh, you know what? I can put you on Mezo, and that'll help the colony grow faster. Or is there already a leader on Mezo? Yeah, there is. Anka. So... Oh, yes, yeah, that's still, right. He still won't talk to us, either. Yeah. A little surprising. Has it been ten turns? He's a little pissy. No, I don't think it's been 10 turns. I do not. Terrans and the Trilarians are still going at it a little bit. Oh, okay. He's, he's coming for us, dude. They did not give chase, though, interestingly enough. They're coming to they're coming to Vizzar. <laughs> uh, yeah. That doesn't look good. Yay. Extreme difficulty. <laughs> Why do we do this to ourselves? Well, there is zero reason to stay. Yeah, go ahead, withdraw. Yeah. Can't possibly win that fight. The other problem is just the vast distances that we're having to travel. Yep. Like we need jump ship, gates. My ship, yeah, my ship is so... My ships are so slow. And having to do this... Having to go around the long way and not use the wormhole just sucks. Yep. I've got a colony ship on Iramura Prime that's going to go colonize Beta. That'll at least give me 
like a really backwoods system in the middle of my territory that they'd have to crush several system or two systems to to get to uh, before it would be under threat so hopefully we'll be able to negotiate with them soon ish maybe they withdrew from the border of Vizzar. Vizzar. Let's send this colony ship to Beta. Okay, fusion beam or fusion bomb? Bomb beamists. Okay, let's have a look here. It is Lesak. <laughs> Rejected my request. You big stupid reptile guy. What did you request? Audience. Ah. Tell me he's not having it. We're no particular friends of his. Okay, now I need. Yeah, I'm gonna go, ahead and go for genetic engineering because I need those pop growth bonuses. Cruiser, upgrade, done. I'm so interested in that they didn't send their main attack fleet through use. I could totally hit them again right now. I have a cruiser that could jump in. How is my cruiser, how is my one cruiser at a similar attack power, at a lower attack power than a frigate? Your how, sir? Your not worth as much as their frigate? My cruiser is not worth as much attack power as their frigate. Depends on how you have it set up. My cruiser... They might, and they might just have some significantly good uh, weapon stack. They might have run along the, the tech tree to get some really good weapons, but they don't have other things as well. But look I at how many suppose. colonies they have. They're bigger than us combined. So I know. Yeah, they are the definition of runaway. Which is why, at this point, if we can get them to stop going to war with us, then that's... <laughs> that's a win. <laughs> well, it's the only way we get to continue. Yep. And the funny thing is, I don't think we clarified this in the beginning. We chose the races we were playing against. It's not like it was random. Oh, yeah, guess who just showed up? The Antarians? Yeah, they're hitting for Serva. Yeah, so good. hopefully, yeah, that's that's really good. That came at a good time. I like that a lot. <laughs> music to my ears. Apparently music to mine as well. So. Right, yeah, and you like it. Don't act like you don't I, like it. I, 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 I did no such thing. I, I, I made no comment. I will neither confirm Acting nor like deny. You like it? Um, Let's see. <laughs> we'll transport... So they have four turns until they get to Serva. Hopefully that will give them time to like put all of their ships in orbit of Serva because I want them to annihilate this fleet. Um, I got to balance is... out my command points. I'm like, I'm actually losing, actually losing money now. This looks like the biggest fleet they've sent yet. I don't see how anything the soccer have is going to be able to stand up to this fleet unless they get their... Well, they do have... Actually, yeah. I stand corrected. If they get their two other ships, or their two other large fleets, uh, two Serva 4, there's already one large fleet in orbit, then they might, might be able to do something. Maybe. Perhaps. That needed to sound like this. Maybe? Perhaps? Maybe? Perhaps? I'm not sure. Okay, Beta has been colonized. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, my really good, my really high level spy. He got, he got caught. Damn. Ah. Boo his boo. That, that makes me less sad. He was level four <laughs> or five. He had successfully destabilized him like three times too. Ah, nice work. Probably. They probably killed him. I can't check because I can't talk to them, obviously, but my guess is he's dead, Zor. 
That would be my guess too. Got too many ships, I gotta dump some. I have the opposite of that problem. <laughs> That's something else that sh you should be able to do. You should be able to trade assets. Like, ships. Yeah, that'd be cool. I should be able to just give you ships or vice versa when we need it. Okay, so they just took Vidzar from me. They, they conquered it. They did? Not surprised, yeah. I didn't even see them come in, frankly. Yeah. Neither did I. I still don't see them. It shows maybe it'll update next turn. Yeah, I, I wasn't watching. Um, I, I, th I really thought the Antarans would attract all of their attention, but I guess I was wrong. I mean, that was a contested system to begin with, so I'm not totally heartbroken about that. Um, I have defenses set up in Iremora, so it'd be a little bit harder. Actually, oh wait, yeah, they have a planet there, so they were able to get in. I was going to say, how'd they get in if they didn't destroy my military outpost? But... They probably built a uh, troop transport on Vidzar 4 and took Vidzar 3. Which is dumb. So far I'm having a fair amount of good fortune in rebuilding my ships. If they don't go on the warpath too quickly, then I should have a fleet again before long. Put your Neutronian armor and stuff on there, right? Oh yeah, did that immediately. You had heavy armor? Uh, no, because I don't have. I've got everything full up right now. I've got. Uh, I guess I could remove the electronic computer and put the heavy armor in, so I'd, I'd lose some attack power and gain some more armor. You know? Did you did you put ECM jammers on or something? No, it's uh, all of my ships have fusion drive. Oh wait, hang on. These would be specials. Derp. Yep, 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 yep. I derped. I added the neutronium, but I forgot that heavy armor was in a different. Uh, was I did. The, the reason I'm mentioning is because I forgot to put it on mine too, and I was like, I wonder if H <laughs> remembered because that I makes remember. me feel a little better. Yeah, I, I definitely, like, I remember, I didn't vocalize it, but when I added the neutron, Neutronium armor, I was like, oh, that's weird. Why don't I have another slot? I normally have another slot. It's because I was thinking in terms of um, system slots and not special slots. God. I need upgraded engines. <laughs> well, I'm close. I'm close to having jump gates, like really, like six. I'm six turns away from jump gates, and then I'm gonna go get some faster engines. I can't stand this anymore. All right, I want to see. Okay, they are not jumping a large fleet in to defend Serva Four, so this is the first time the Antarans are just gonna wreck them. But at the same time, that means that they're not putting their largest ships in harm's way. So it kind of sucks. Truth be told. All right, have you completed genetic engineering research tech already? Uh, genetic engineering. Mm -mm, nope. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the passive bonus, microbiotics, I'll send that your way. Okay, I'll grab cloning center when I pass through it then. Okay. There you go. Thanks. Indeed. I wish Callisto had better planets in it, because right now we're looking at Callisto 2, Callisto Prime, Callisto 3, all of which are kind of crappy. And there's a space monster guarding it. It's just, I always wish that space monster systems were like more definitively always good. Yeah, I mean, there's, you've got a rich world there, which the game, I guess, sees as a good thing. And then it's got a rich plus gold, but they're both small. 
and they have crap environment. So I guess, yep. I guess the large Baron ultra rich with dark quartz, that's your, that's your value add for that system there. Drop yep. a gravity generator on it and then it's badass. Agreed. Yeah. Ultra rich plus dark quartz. Yeah. That's kind of crazy actually come to think of it. It could be terraformed up to be a better world too, but it would take a long time. Yeah, the Terrans are uh, starting to establish themselves as well. News okay, Network. looks like Antares finally had a successful strike. So they hit Serva, uh, which doesn't appear to really have any population problems, unfortunately. I'm not surprised. So this has kind of changed my opinion of how much the, um, at least on extreme difficulty, how much the the Antarans are going to balance out the runaway AI issue. Well, I don't have as much experience with the Antarans in this version of Master Orion as you do. So you you indicated they, that they always they typically, go after they the go, big guy. They, they go after the high-scoring player, and they can pretty, uh, pretty reliably be expected to wreck whatever is in their way, um, and then they use biobombs to kill the population of colonies. They don't kill infrastructure. Not that I've ever seen. And then they withdraw. They don't hang out. They just, they, they do one surgical strike and then they head straight back to their portal. They can't be chased until you can build your own portal. So yeah, Serva, I mean, its its defenses were annihilated, but they had no ships standing in the way. Okay, speaking of ships there is a very large fleet at the edge of the wormhole that's heading towards Dagon that's not good <laughs> one thing that consistently boggles my mind about Master of Orion is how they still like information doesn't show consistently between zoomed in and zoomed out views of the galaxy like Vidzar is now completely soccer controlled but when I zoom out even though I can see everything it's still showing that one of my oh mm -hmm. you know what it might it might be never mind never mind I stand corrected it's the fact that I have an asteroid lab it's what I was saying was still a problem like like but actually what I'm referring to right now is not an instance of that problem um, I've, I've Antaran ruins being researched in, in Bidzar. That's why I have a, a blue dot there, but yeah, I mean, just how it, the, the, the colors can switch between zoom in and zoom out. And it's not clear about who owns what and why the color is one way in one zoom level and another way in another. It's, it's strange. It's still a little wonky. I really feel like so much of my lack of progress in this game in certain ways has been due to the fact that Mezo has been such a crappy colony for so long. It's getting better now, but it's taken forever to get there. Queue up another cruiser. All right, this destroyer can head to Dagon. Okay, good. They withdrew their fleet from uh, the edge of... The wormhole interesting move that gives me the opportunity to finish my stations there hmm. credits do you need you need I need credits? What? No, the errands. The Antarans are on their way out of Serva, so I don't remember how many turns it is between attacks. So I don't know when they'll be back. Right now we're at turn 169. I 
I'm going to do everything I can to start buying out some uh, some ships if they're just like a couple turns away just to save a few turns and get a fleet built back up faster. Seems like a sensible thing to do. Quiet now is quiet. Mm, I'm just, I'm worried about my economy. It's crashed and I'm trying to, I'm trying to fix it. Looks like the Terrans are giving the Trilarians a hard time again. They might actually be getting through this time. There we go. Whew. I'm back in positive territory. I'm over on command points like huge. Wow. It's really, really, really hurting me. Yeah, I don't have that problem <laughs> after what the Sakura did to me. Uh, let's go ahead and get fungal farms built here. And then how many more population can this world have? None. This is Dagon. No, they're still not they're still not coming after you, huh? The Sakura. No, they're not. They're 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 dancing with me, basically. This is very interesting behavior. But I don't mind. It's giving me again, it's giving me a chance to to build up some cruisers. This I'm gonna have a much more cruiser heavy fleet going I forward. Come. Oh, the Trilarian are going to straight up give me the Alien Management Center. They feel threatened. The Terran just conquered Ajax 2. So the Trilarian might be about to fall now. And if the Terran... <laughs> If the Terran take over that much, even just a fraction of Trilarian space, then we're gonna have we're gonna have issues. I'm gonna go ahead and research military tactics because I want to have access to the troop transport if I decide I reach a point where it's feasible. Well, and we better wrap this one up too. Oh yeah, I didn't even see the episode timer. Um, okay, well yeah, we'll, we'll wrap this one here. I still am gonna try and. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and send my uh, my ships back through here to hit use again because I've only got a couple cruisers and a destroyer, but it's more than enough to destroy what they have in the system. And if I can just do a little bit more damage to those planets while they don't have a whole lot in the area um, and then get out before they can get back, um, then that can help slow down their war machine even just a little bit. So... War of Attrition, Guerrilla Warfare, etc., etc. Hopefully we can start turning the tide against the soccer in the next episode or two. Thanks very much for watching, folks. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes in Mystics and Merchants air every day at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, and comments are always welcome. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Until next time, he's Hadrian, I'm Mal, and we will see you later.